Hey everybody, welcome back to Pandemic Fall of Rome. Let's carpe diem. Okay, so we're starting our second run through of our four characters. Vestalis is up, and this green card I just got, it's the only green card. You know, I need to get four green cards, and this isn't going to help us much, so I'm going to use her special power. At any time, discard a card matching the color of the city you're in, and Philip over here, or Philipopolis, is a green and white city, so she's going to discard that green card to give herself an event card. And what do we got? Oh my gosh, that, I, I did not see this coming. We literally got Carpe Diem. Um, we're going to seize the day. This gives you more more, a, ooh, more actions. I think we might just use this right away uh, to, get some, to get some going on. So, that didn't take an action. All right, so, we're going to have her start doing stuff. All right, I think the city is well under control. She is going to, first action, she's going to march to Tyrus. And what the heck, we'll have her bring one legionnaire. Okay, second action. She is going to plot. Now remember, normally to plot with more players, like regular Pandemic, you have to have two people in a given city, and that means that city can be taken or received. But uh, in this game, we plot with the treasury. So I'm going to come over here to Tyrus and take Tyrus out of our hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All righty, uh, because we're Tyrus. All right, third action, we're going to play this Tyrus card to fortify Tyrus. So we can try to keep the Visigoths, um, you know, completely penned in here uh, by... All right, okay. So that's her third. She has one more action. Right now, for free, we're going to use this action to seize the day. And I've got a very interesting choice here. We can play this for its basic thing, which is to get two more actions. Or if we're corrupt, we can get four more actions. And to corrupt means our city, the, the, the empire falls a little bit. This is such a cool thing. Every time you play an event card, you have the option to choose decline to give yourself a much greater power. And I don't think I'm going to do that. I only need two more actions for what we're about to do. So I'll take two. So she's already gone. Um, one, two, three. And now she has four, five, six. She's got three more actions. Her next action is going to be to recruit some guys here. So that this area is well protected. All right. So that's four. And then five, she is going to march over here to Tarosius. And she'll bring one, somebody with her. So that this area is protected too. Okay. She could have fought. But remember, she's not very good at fighting. Or relative. So that was five. And then she has one more action. Let me double check to make sure I got this right. Ah, so much stuff just went happened. All right. So she swapped for free. Then she did one, two, three, four... Five, six, does she have two more action? Ah! All right, so she marched, and then she plotted, and then she fortified. Oh, and then she recruited, and then she marched. She has one more action, which is going to be the big action. She's going to forge an alliance. She has three blue cards, and she is in a region where there is a blue cube. That means she engages in negotiations with this. If there were no blue cubes on the board, we would not be able to make an alliance with the blue tribe because we can't go into their homeland. But she came over here. She could have come over here instead and um, uh, you know, negotiated with these guys. So she's negotiated with him. So we're discarding all three, and the Ostrogoths are allied with the Roman Empire. Woohoo! Now you might think that's awesome, right? We only need four more alliances, and the Ostrogoths, they're our, on our side. They're not going to bother us anymore. Here's the problem, though. This is in an age before cell phones. Just because there is an alliance, that doesn't mean that these cubes that are running around, uh, rampant on the board, they haven't heard. These guys will still run the, around. They'll still sack. They could still cause us to lose by sacking Rome. So the interesting thing is, though, from now on, instead of fighting these guys, we can discard a blue card, if we have one in hand, and recruit them and turn them into legionnaires. So, all right. That was it. Those are six actions. If we wanted some um, corruption, we should could have two more actions right now. But no, no, we're not taking any corruption. That was it. That was a very effective turn. We've got defenses all along the eastern front here. We've got our first... Nice, nice, nice. So she's going to draw not two, but three cards. All right. Oh, another event. Okay, there's four in the deck in a two-player game. Um, oh, you know what? Was it supposed to be four in a solo game? Oh, did I put too many in? I just realized I might have gotten that wrong. 
So that's the interesting thing. The setup here doesn't tell you. I'll have to check that. Folks, as always, please watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on. I was putting in four event cards, but since this repl replicates a three-player game, kind of, maybe there were supposed to be five event cards? I'm not quite sure. That's something that Paulo and I are going to have to check out. And if I did it wrong, as always, turn on the Klingon subtitles. But anyway, so we'll just say I'm playing hard. Um, right, anyway, though. So we got another event. We got a Roma card, a white Rome card, and the third one, is another event. Okay, we're going to put one of these back. We don't need the White Rome card right now, so let's just put that back. And we've got two events that can be played on anybody's turns, because that's standard for Pandemic. We've got uh, Festina Lente, which make haste slowly. Well, and this one is, choose a city, move one pawn to it, with permission. Or, if we take some corruption, do as the above, but move any number of pawns there. Now, that could be very powerful in a multiplayer game. You get everybody together so you can do some swapping. In a solo game, that's not quite as... Well, it could still be useful, uh, because I guess they'd move with their legionnaires. And then we've got Milius Carve Quam uh, Pavere. <clears throat> uh, or, better to be careful than afraid. <clears throat> Draw, look at, and rearrange the top six cards of the Barbarian deck, then put them back on top. Or, if we're a bit more corrupt, remove one of the cards that we drew from the game and then put them back on top. So we could just completely, if we suspect we're about to get a... Uh, wow, that's really awesome. That would be worth taking a corruption to eliminate, completely eliminate, one of the revolt cards from the game. But we got to do some card counting to be able to pull that off, because we don't know exactly when those are coming. Interesting. Alrighty. So, she's done, and now we invade some cities. Okay. Blue, our new Ostrogoth friends, Some these guys didn't get the memo. They're still going to try to invade Rome. So, we come over here to Rome and work backwards, and they can't, because they, they can't be in Rome, but they can be in there because they're uh, jumping off of this zone right there. So, that's the first one we drew, and, um, oh, more orange. They want to come over here, but instead... We repel them, and they're kept at bay. Okay, nice. So that's that. Moving on to Mr. Pink. Alrighty. Mr. Pink, what you gonna do? He could, he's just got two legionnaires, or two legions to take on three groups. But you know, he's tough. He's a tough guy. We could go on ahead and use this right now to move somebody else to him so that he could get a third one. Or he could come back over here, recruit some more, and come back and fight. Yeah, let's do that. March. He'll just leave these behind. March. Recruit. One, two, three. March back. And he can bring up to three with him. Let's have him bring two. And leave two behind. So, march, recruit, march back. Fight! Alrighty. Let's roll those special powers. Here we go. Roll them bones. Ali Octa Est. Oh, okay. 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 Not too bad. We lose one. But remember, his special power is reduce his losses. So we didn't lose anybody. We take out one cube. And remember his special power? We take out two. Boom! We just wiped everybody out. This city is clear. And we suffered no losses. Mr. Pink, you kicked butt. All right, let's see what we got. Do I think we're going to get a revolt card? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and draw two. Roma. And, uh, no, okay, and our hand size, we haven't gone over our hand size, so that's fine. Two more invasions. And um, uh, the Huns want to get to Rome. They can't reach it, so moving backwards along their migration path, no. Here's where they are. So they're getting closer. And, you know, um, you know, once you get an explosion in Rome, which is to say you have to put four cubes of the same color, Rome gets sacked, and we instantly lose. If any other city gets sacked, all that means is that we have an explosion of extra guys in that area. Let's not forget that. We haven't drawn Corduba yet. Maybe we should deal with that right now. All right. Let's move on to the council. All right, council. You need to get your butt to Corduba. Can you do it? Yes, we can. Because, all right, we need to take a boat, yo. We're going to march. No. So, recruit, march, sail. Yeah, okay. Okay. It, oh, no! Corduba is inland! Shoot! What I was going to do was I was going to recruit, then I was going to march, that was second, then we were going to sail over to Tingley, um, and then we have to march again, so that's four. So we wouldn't be able to fight. We'd get there too late. So unfortunately, I don't have time to recruit. So, ah, shoot, shoot, shoot. If I... No, because, I mean, any second, we could draw this Corduba, and we could have uh, a sacking of the city. I do not want a sacking of the city. 
And the, and the city over here is fine. Um, Vestas can come back over here and do some recruiting. So, okay. I'm going to take a chance. We're just going to march. I'm going to take everybody with me. The city is unprotected because a fort by itself will not protect. Number two, I'm going to discard a black card, which means I can sail to any black port. And I'm going to bring my, as always, you can move with up to three. So we're sailing all the way over here to Tingley. That's two. Number three, we're going to march up to Cordoba and number, or, or Corduba. And number four, we're going to fight. Here we go. Boom. All right. We suffered one loss. They suffered two losses. That's what we're looking for, folks. Not too shabby. Well done, council. Okay. And um, that was it. Four. So we're going to draw two. I'm worried about the revolt. The revolt is getting closer. It could be one of these two, I think. I think we're deep enough into the deck. So, do I use the, uh, the better to be careful than afraid? I don't know. No, everything's fine now. We should save this for later. All right, so let's just draw two. And, all right, two green cards. All right, no problem. Good, good. And we're going to have some more invasions. The uh, Huns want to get into Rome. So moving backwards. And the Huns are interesting, by the way. All the other tribes um, have two exits out. They can go this way, this way, this way, this way. The, 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 I'm sorry, not the Huns. The Vandals, the black uh, cubes, they have only one way out. It's really easy to keep them pinned down. So they want to go to Rome, which means working backwards. Hey, they're building up over here, their invasion, because I didn't quite take, you know. All right, so anyway. So that was it. That's one. And white. I just let Philip... Or no, wait, no. Yes, we did just leave here. And so, boom, they snuck in when the city was unprotected. I didn't leave any legionnaires behind. So, they got in. We're going to have to take them out later. Okay. Still, not complaining. Vestalis, get over to Philip. Get that place uh, shut down. Shut that, shut that place down. Okay. I think... She will leave one lone legionnaire. She will march... March. So this area is very heavily protected. This area is slightly protected. March, march. That's one, two, three. We're still recruiting three at a time. Almost all of our legions are on the board. Because we, we haven't suffered very many losses yet. Three. And she could fight. But again, there's a one in six chance for every die she rolls that she will lose a legion and not take anybody out. I don't know if I want her to fight. I don't know if I want her to fight. <laughs> oh, what the heck? She hasn't had any fun. Let's have her fight. Okay. Do not want to see this special power here. That would be very bad. Let's roll with all three. Although we could roll with one or two. Let's roll with all three. Shut these guys down. No! Oh, Vassalis. We loot. We, we, two bad. Uh, you know, two are down. Let's uh, shut down one of each. And we lost one because of her weakness. No! Still, not too bad. Okay. All right, so that was it. This is why we don't have you fight. Before you're done, do we want to dump any of these cards to get another event? We already have a couple of events. And plus, hey, we got two greens. We also have two whites, if we count this one and this one. But we need five white. We need four green. Um, right, so we can start thinking. We got two oranges as well. So I, th okay, I think she's not going to swap anything. One, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I didn't think about this. We're about to draw two cards. Which means if they both go in the hand, we're going to have to start discarding cards. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know what? This was dumb. I shouldn't have had her fight. She's in a... Um, well, no, no. Yeah, she's in Philippopolis. I could have had her get rid of this so that we can store this for later instead of having to discard. Yes, if I'd been paying attention, it was dumb to have her fight. I shouldn't have done it. I gotta, gotta manage your cards. So she didn't fight. We didn't lose a guy. The area is well protected. Her fourth action after coming back over here and recruiting was she uh, implotted with the uh, treasury and got a card out of our hands. So now we're at one, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> All right, let's draw first. Because if she looks at her three and sees that the uh, thing is coming, yeah. So she's going to draw one, two, three. And now I want to see that revolt. Boom! That's what I want to see, baby. Okay, she's going to put that back. She now has too many cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But instead of discarding, she is going to say, 
Better to be careful than afraid. She is going to play this. We are going to do it in a corrupt fashion, which means we draw, look at, rearrange, and remove from the game one of these six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Booyakasha. Hey, I wonder what which one I'm going to get rid of. How about this revolt? Things are not revolting. We have, let's see, do we put it over here? Do we get rid of it? Um, remove it from the game. Bye bye Nice, nice, nice. Now we can arrange these and put them back in any order. So, let's see here. So green's coming out. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're stopping. So we, we have, you know, let's put the green on top because that's not going to bother us. Burge is over here, which, okay, that area is locked down, so that's cool. Then we've got uh, Sinope and Chinosa. Oh, Chinosis is covered, so let's do that. Uh, Sinope is the other way they want to go, I think, or no, no, Sinope. All right. Ah, so this, this defense is going to fall when these two go. So let's get some time so she can come back over here and re... Uh, all right, so because we have plenty of orange over here to protect that area. Or plenty of legions to protect that. Okay, so we put them back on top. That was pretty cool. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. All righty. Um, oh, shoot. No, no, no. All of that was wrong. It says the Barbarian deck. I can't get rid of Revolt cards using that power. Ah, oh, shucks. Okay, so hold on a second, folks. One, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't get to look at these. She, we did know that the revolt was on top. Let's go ahead and shuffle these back up. Pretend you don't know. Ah, uh, it's the barbarian deck we get to manipulate. Shoot. So I gotta play one of these event cards. I thought it was the city deck. Apologies, as always. Cling on subtitles. All right, so. Do I want to do that and manipulate this deck, or do I want to choose a city, move one pawn, um, or do the same and move any number of pawns there? Mm, I don't want to do that. So, okay, let's do it anyway. Let's look at these six and rearrange them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Although, you don't know, no, what's the point of that? There's no point to doing that because we know that the revolt is going to happen. So all these cards are going to get put back on top of these. So that doesn't really help. Ah! All right, well then, is there any reason to use this because of our hand size? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, let's see, who would we want to move where? Um, choose a city, move one pawn with permission. This area is pretty locked down. Maybe we should have Mr. Pinks go somewhere else and help fight. Like, say, over here. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do make haste slowly. We're going to move him over here so he doesn't have to make the long trek. He doesn't have to waste a card um, sailing. He's going to go over here and help fortify this neck of the woods. Or should we have him come over here? What cards do we have in our hands? Because we could have him go someplace, and because it's his turn next, and build another fort. We can't build a fort in Rome. We could do it in Narbo or Genoa. And No, I don't think so. Eovim or Lucia? Oh, or, mm, that one's not bad. That would be stopping the green advancement in his track. I'd rather put it right here, though, in Carnidium. Uh, what was the other one? What was the other one? Evudium. Right, no, Evudium or Lucia, which is way over here. That doesn't make any sense. All right, instead of moving him here, let's move him here so that he can fortify this area. I'd rather fortify this area because this city fortified stops the Huns and the Ostrogoths. But still, this isn't bad. Ostrogoths. No, I'm not gonna do. It. I'm, I'm gonna bring him over here because we, we got we got a, we got some fighting to do, and we already see how terrible she is. So, all right, so we did that, so we don't have to discard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're we're still gonna wait till later when things are really looking bad before we peek in here and rearrange. Uh, let's move on to Mr. Pink's turn. He says, "Hey, how do I get over here? This is crazy." All righty. Well, for starters, I could have him recruit, but we're recruiting three. We only have two to recruit. So, first of all, let's have him fight with all three. Uh, he left these legions behind to protect this area. Although, oh, oh, that was terrible. Because, remember, this area is not supported by a fort. It is not supported by a player. One cube would take out all three of these guys. So, let's say he brought these two with him. So, we just have one defender over there. So, now there's five guys down there. Okay. Although, we can only attack with three of them. His first of four actions is to fight! Boom. All right. He suffers two losses, and we take out three. But remember, he minimizes one, so we only suffer one loss. And we take out three. Bye 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 And bye bye And he says, see, that's how you do it, lady. 
And he said, I, look, I can see the future, okay, pal? All right, so that was his first action. Pretty successful, not as successful as I would have liked. His second action could be to recruit all three of these guys, but uh, we might need them elsewhere, so let's leave that for a bit. Second action, I could go on ahead and fight here and take out this one last little cube. Uh, I'm not excited about that either. What else can we do? Hey, let's take a looky-loo. We've got two green cards plus another one over here in the treasury. If we get one more green card, we could make an alliance with the Huns. And we'd have two of the alliances we need. Now, I haven't talked about this. There's um, two ways you can win. Ally yourself with all five, remembering that once you're allied, they will still attack and still do stuff. It just means you can recruit them if you've got a card. So ally with all five, or ally with a certain number of them and wipe out for anybody you haven't allied with, wipe out every cube on the board. So if we ally with everybody except for the Huns, so if we ally with the other four, and we get every black cube off the board, that's a win. If we ally with just these two and get every white and every black cube off the board, that's a win. So you can see why containment is such a big deal. If we And, and, the, and the Vandals are the easiest to contain, although they did sneak out over here. If we can get them shut down and keep them, we never have to spend the five cards to ally with them for a win. So, and Philippopolis, we can pull this out. We just need to wait for one more green card. Interesting. But remember, I need to play some of these cards. If I don't play these cards, we're going to have to start discarding cards. I could, oh, I didn't think about this. I could move down to Rome and dump these Rome cards in there just to get them out of the way and save them for later. What else do we got? Uh, Ravenna, Ravenna, which is in the northern part of Italy. Nar uh, uh, man, I'm going to have to start discarding cards. That's kind of scary. Don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we had a fight. Where is... That's too far away. Uh, that's kind of wasteful. Um... Uh, unfortunately, also, I can't take a shortcut through enemy territory. I'd have to go two, three, four to come up there. What I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. I'm going to draw two cards. We're going to throw cards away. Do not like. What else can I use these cards for? Well, I could just go someplace, but I mean, none of these places are within reach to build, to, to be able to make it to them and build a fort. Unless I, my second action is to move to a waterfront and maybe take some guys with me. And third, discard a card. So three and then four. All right, three. I'm going to discard a card. I'm going to discard... Uh, I'm going I'm to discard... Oh. I'm going to discard Ravenna um, as a white card to sail to any white port. Oh, shoot! I was going to sail to Rome, but I can't, I can't go to Rome. All right, so I'm leaving these guys behind. I'm going to sail to Rome... And my fourth action is, I'm just going to plot to get this out of my hand. So now, all right, so I got rid of one white card. I saved another one that might come in handy for later on. All right, so that's it. But we stopped them. Done. Maybe I shouldn't have moved him over here. Say la vie. We'll live with it. And now, uh, at the end of his turn, he draws two, and we don't have to discard. What? I did not see that coming. Oh, yes, I did. I knew that was coming. I totally knew that was coming. Oh, well, whatever. All righty. And uh, blue card. Okay. Uh, increase. Revolt. Draw the card from the bottom of the deck. It's uh, Genua. The Visigoths are revolting. And again, they skip their um, supply chain and go directly there to Genua. Wow. Right outside of Rome. Now, I don't mind being over here because we got to get over here and shut this down. Uh, although that's interesting. Um, if it had been here... Then from here, you can see these little arrows means they can fall into Rome. From over here, they can't get into Rome. They're just going to keep on heading out over in that area. Interesting. Still, I want to shut them down. Although, he's here with no military support. We'll have to worry about that. So anyway, so uh, we did that. Now, we got a shuffle, 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 never of kerfuffle. This is my shuffling song. And oh my gosh, we never saw Corduba, did we? We never did. So I got over here, didn't need to. Corduba is going to the bottom of the deck. We know that's safe for quite a while. Okay, let's uh, go, and we're now drawing three cards. Uh, Philip wants some white, but hey, this guy uh, who was protected by the fort fought them off. 
Rome. Um, the Huns want to make it to Rome. And that means moving backwards, they, um, yep, since, uh, since they'd already reached this far, they're right outside of Rome now. And Philippopolis, green. Oh my gosh, these Huns are crazy. And uh, they just want to come to Philippopolis. They can't because another guy struck them down. Nice. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. And the consul. Ugh, you're way out here in the middle of Nowheresville. All right. And again, I'm, 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 I'm about to start losing cards. Oh, my goodness gracious, gracious. All right. Do I just stay here and fight? I mean, it'd be good to mop this up and get rid of this so that they can't use this as a foothold to go further. Particularly because I don't want to have to make an alliance. I just want to get them all off the board because we can shut them down so easily. But that means... I mean, because I'm nowhere near these cards. I'm not too... Yeah, I'm very far away from these cards. So I can't get them out of my hand. I'm going to... Well, I could fight and then sail away. Or we could go on ahead. You know what? Now is a good time to do this. Now that this has been reset, yeah. For starters, let's get rid of this as a bonus action. Draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you know what? What the heck? Let's be, since we haven't had um, any explosions yet, let's be a little bit, let's get rid of one of these cards. So one of these cards is going to go away, never going to bother us again. Which one do I want to do that? It might make sense to get rid of a black card if we're just going to try and keep them closed off so they'll stop trying to pester us so we never have to bother with an alliance with them. I like that. Yeah, let's get rid of them. Out of the game. Bye-bye. So these remaining, what order do I put them in? Um, well, let's see. What's, con what's contained? Uh, Cartoonum. That, okay, they're going to get out. I can't stop them. Genoa. Oh my gosh, Genoa is very bad. No, no, no. Let's keep this. Let's remove Genoa. This was the thing that just revolted. Let's remove it from the game. This will not get hit. It cannot explode. There's an orange Genoa card as well, which would put um, Anglo-Saxons potentially there, but it won't cause them to explode. I'm happy with that. Okay, we're totally safe there. I mean, we still got to wipe them out, unless we ally ourselves with them. So now how do we put these back in order? In Constantinopolis. Okay, we, okay I don't mind that being at the top, because this guy will stop them. Car and you see them, uh, they kind of get all right. So, ah, uh, but I mean, now the blacks would come out again. Oh no, but they'd come way down here, wouldn't they? Okay, I definitely don't want this to happen. I don't want them building up here. I want to shut this down before they keep building up. Let's put this at the bottom of the deck. Um, blue Rome, blue. Uh, right, that okay, that's a million miles away. Not really worried about that. So that can go near the top. Uh, it's coming over here, you know, they, they, they'll just run right into us. So let's put that. So that's totally safe. Right, there we go. Let's put that. So we've reordered. And I haven't even done my four actions yet. But now, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, not going to run out of cards again. Hand management is everything. In, um... All right, so all right, I need to clear these guys out. This is just such a pain. So first of all, the council, wherever he is in the world, he doesn't need to have a fort. One of his special powers is he can recruit locals. So that's my first action. Second action, because remember, the event was free. Second action, I don't need to roll three to take out a single guy. Let's just roll two. All right. We lost one, but we got our special power, which got one back, and we took out two. So this area is clear. Very nice. Okay. So, um, you know what? Let's have it not... Yeah. So that's one, two, three, and now let's have him fight again and hopefully take these guys out. It'd have to be a little lucky, but we're rolling three. I like my chances. Come on, council. All right. Two enemies taken out. Boom, boom. All right. We have cleared out Spain and North Africa. We lose one troop. But again, his special power brings that troop right on back. Job well done, sir. Okay, very nice. Now let's draw our five. Skip a dippy, Sinope, and Rome. And we are now being invaded three times. But we're not scared. Constantinopolis says, hey, they would have liked to have been building up here. Uh-uh. They're coming all the way back. They'd like to come in here, but this guy fought them off. So, no vandals today, sir. Second card. These guys want to come out here, but I say, uh-uh. Stop dead in their tracks. Third card. Blue wants to come out Rome, but they hit a brick. Oh, no, no, no. No, I got this wrong. This is not the path to Rome. This is a little dead end. They're coming out this way. Oh, no, no. All right, so, oh! Oh, no. So, they continue, and they continue. They've made it into Rome. So, 
Um, they never get into Rome. The decline goes down. Oh, that's very scary. Okay, we need to clear all this stuff out. These guys who are supposed to be on our side, that's not helping nothing. All right, so anyway, so that was it. Not discarding anything. Moving on to Vestalis. And right, here she is over here. She could start swapping some cards. Now, we don't need these blue cards for anything. They're good for sailing, or they're good if we get over here to just convert them, to ver convert these guys, get them off the board. But she's a, So she could just use one to convert this single guy and just uh, close. Oh, no, where is she? She's over here. And so she's got these guys. She could fight the single. She's landlocked, so she can't sail away. Well, there's a lot of stuff she could do, but you know what, folks? I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of what Pandemic Fall of Rome is all about. It's about some awesome sauce. And if you want to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit that I in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.